Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is your Tennis Now News Update. Buckle up everybody, this is about to get pretty steamy. Caroline Wozniacki sure knows how to heat up a cold winter. The former world number one sizzles in the new Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue. Thing is, she's not actually wearing a swimsuit. The brave girl is only wearing body paint, which is a very meticulous process. It is also a very long process, which started at 3 in the morning and ran into the next afternoon, but the results are stunning. Life as a swimsuit model turns out isn't all sunny days and beautiful beaches. Caroline admits she actually fainted during the initial layer of the painting process. But even though it was a pretty tough day, Cairo says this was an opportunity that she just couldn't pass up. By the way, it's worth noting that this is the second straight year that Cairo has been invited to pose for the prestigious SI swimsuit issue. Good for her. All right, moving on. Welcome back Juan Martin Del Potro. The 2009 U.S. Open champion returns to tennis Tuesday in Delray Beach, where he will face American Dennis Kudla. Delpo underwent left wrist surgery back on June 18th, which limited him to just two tournaments in 2015. It is the third surgery he's had on his left wrist. The former world number four says he can now hit his two-handed backhand with confidence. Because of all the time off due to this wrist problem, Del Potro has seen his ranking drop outside the top 1,000. Back in 2011, Del Potro was coming off surgery on his right wrist when he won Delray Beach, launching him to ATP Comeback Player of the Year honors that year. So here's hoping for another successful comeback for a true gentleman in the game of tennis. Well, it is time for the Rio Open, and for the players, it's a great time to play tourist before play actually begins. Jack Sock and John Isner took a helicopter ride to see Rio's iconic Christ the Redeemer statue. Fabio Fognini and his fiancée Flavia Panetta also spent their Valentine's Day visiting the same site, and then they got a lot closer. The inspiring life story of Anna Ivanovic, from playing tennis in an empty swimming pool in Serbia to becoming the world number one, is the subject now of a new Adidas ad called Here to Create. Growing up, I had to go through some difficult times. During the wars, we had to practice in an empty swimming pool. And finally, it's 40 love for Team Santina. The world number one doubles team of Martina Hingis and Sonia Mirza. They have captured the St. Petersburg title, which means they've extended their perfect start to this season to 40 and 0. The pair have racked up 10 consecutive titles and close to surpassing the longest women's double streak since 1990, when Jana Novotna and Helena Sukova won 44 straight matches. And as for the all-time record, well, that belongs to Martina Navratilova and Pam Shriver with 109 consecutive victories. At this point, the ladies hold the Wimbledon, U.S. Open, and Australian Open titles and can complete the Santina Slam by winning the French Open this spring. We'll keep an eye out. That's the news for now. I'm Grace Carter. See you next time here on Tennis Now.